One Piece chapter 1118 has been arguably the most controversial chapter at least in the recent years of One Piece. So let's cut to the chase and let's talk about what happened. Alright, to get immediately onto the topic, Luffy was talking to Boney when Boney finally saw Luffy in Nika's form and Luffy said again, I've got no idea what you're talking about, okay? So that's one thing to mention uh, later in the video, okay? The other thing, Luffy was talking to Boney and he told her that he, he got this, you can do this and he said of course you can, I don't know how your powers work but I'm sure you've got this. And then Boney remembered Luffy at the beginning of this arc where he said that this is how I look when I'm totally free and then Boney said, distorted future, give me a future where I'm totally free. And then boom, she looked like Nika, she looked like Luffy in Nika form, she looked like this. So this is arguably the most controversial thing to happen in the recent years of One Piece. And what's my opinion and what's... Your... Look, to start things off, it's fine. Criticism is fine, as long as you're being respectful as, as long as you're like talking about the story itself you're not disrespecting Oda Sensei himself you're not dis disrespecting any other opinions like you can totally disagree with me or disagree with other people but the most important thing is that we all gotta be respectful because at the end of the day we are all reading or watching One Piece to enjoy it right and One Piece has been definitely one of the one of the greatest and one of the most beautiful stories ever told in fiction history, not only in manga or anime, right? So, One Piece has been definitely one of the greatest, if, the, if not the greatest, and Luffy, Gear 5, Nika, the Nika 4, has been a transitional point of Oro Sensei and the story of One Piece. A lot of people read and started watching One Piece because of Gear 5. So, Gear 5 has been definitely the most iconic if not one of the most iconic transformations in anime manga history okay so let's just put all this aside so now what people have been arguing about the whole day or the whole previous couple of days since the brief spoilers been out is that people do not like this many people that have been <laughs> one piece fans been literally like in a civil war recently okay some many people did not like this because many people said that you destroyed the uniqueness of Gear 5 and many people saying that how it, it takes Luffy over 1000 chapters since he, he had this devil fruit since he was 7 years old and it was distant for him from Shanks and everything he was distant because these type of devil fruits choose the guy a lot of fears been going on around that okay and he's been training with Garb he trained with Rayleigh and trained with uh, Kaido Luffy been through a lot to go to, to to be like this to be Nika to be Gear 5 okay I know it's meant to be in everything okay so now I'm, I'm telling you the other side of the story and why people hate that okay and I'm going with why people are okay with that so that's why people are not fine with that people are saying that now everyone can turn into Nika right because it doesn't make sense on how a 12 years old girl who can just say I want to turn or I want to look like where I'm totally free and boom that's it she looks like Nika that's where people are against that okay and the people who's fine with that is that that been saying that Oro Sensei has been foreshadowing this for a long time now okay even when you saw the flashback of Kuma we've seen Boney when she now Boney is 12 years old okay when she was 9 years old when, when when she fought the CP8 girl remember her when she when she was taking keeping uh, Boney as a hostage and then Bo uh, Boney had a had this plan with the Kony the old lady to escape the island and then she she used the distortion future and she used the powers that really looked like gear third okay and this was three years ago okay that that was even before the story of, of one piece began began okay so now people been saying that it totally makes sense for boney to look like this to be to look actually like nika okay because her father's race are the race that actually was almost worshipping nika and everything so it totally makes sense for boney to actually look like nika i mean it's still not confirmed on how or why or is she even as powerful as nika would she be even as powerful as nika it's still not confirmed okay so now what i want to say is that you guys need to chill whether you like this or you hate this just wait and see because one piece is a weekly manga series so we cannot decide i mean that was literally like the final panel of the of the, of the manga of, of the chapter i'm sorry okay so you cannot decide because 
that was literally like the final thing because at the end of the chapter we've seen Itsumadi, the bird, he was flying towards the, the, the ship where Luffy and the other guys from Elbluff and everything and Sanji and all these guys were in the ship and he was heading toward that and he said that no one should be free, okay? I will destroy everyone and no one will be able to escape this island, okay? So then this happened and nothing else, okay? The final thing in this chapter where the, the giant robot, the iron robot, and he said, there you are. He felt Nika, he felt Joy Boy, and he was happy, and he was droning. I think he's over, okay? I think that's it for the Iron Robot. So the consequences for betraying Joy Boy gotta be you droning like that, and that's it. That's over for you, okay? So yeah, the Iron Robot story could be over. Alright, the chapter was kinda short, because it was 13 pages, and by the way, this is for the third time in One Piece history, we get to have a 13 pages of a chapter, okay? And by the way, it happened twice this year. So this is for the third time in One Piece history, and twice in this year. I really hope Orson is fine. I honestly just want him to take care of himself, even though if One Piece turned, turned to be like, I'm not gonna say a monthly series, but even though if, if you're gonna like have one chapter and then a break and then one chapter, you know, twice a month. I'm totally fine with that. As long as Orson stays healthy, I'm totally fine with that. I don't want him to rest things. I don't want him to stay like up all day and sleeping for like three hours a day. This is insane. I want him to take care of himself. I want him to not rush things, okay? We're fine. We're fine. Trust me. Even even if Orson say, uh, takes a lot of breaks, I'm so fine with that because as long as... as He's taking care of himself and he's being healthy and all. I'm fine with that, okay? Just please take care of yourself, or Sensei. We don't want like anything, God forbid, to happen, okay? So just please take care of yourself and we're fine. We don't have to have like every week a new chapter, okay? We're totally fine with that, okay? So like I said, we, the chapter was kind of short. We started with the Iron Orbit was drowning and he was talking to Joy Boy and he was saying, where are you? Where did you go, Joy Boy? I wanted our paths to cross. You were here, right, Joy Boy? How strange, how very strange. And this was it until the end of the chapter. And I feel like this is a kind of a punishment. Like, we all know the Gear Fifth and the Nika thing is destined for Luffy. It's faded, right? So I feel like it's faded for the Iron Giant to have this punishment as... If, as we're saying, that he did a horrible thing back then with Zunisha, okay? As we can say, he betrayed Joy Boy or something like that, and this is his punishment, okay? He did not get to see Joy Boy in person right now, okay? Reincarnated or whatever you want to call it, okay? And we continue seeing the Gorosi literally conquering the Egghead Ark, uh, the Egghead Island, I'm sorry, and no one was able to stop them. And then we continue seeing the reaction piece. People were surprised on how... The, the, the video where it was cut off mid-sentence and people were saying that what could have caused the broadcast termination and everything and then they were wondering about uh, Vegapunk's death and some random people were saying that don't tell me someone's had him killed he did say he committed grave sins but the government wouldn't just raise him, would they? Well, you don't know the truth, you don't know anything about this world, okay? So we continue the the, uh, the reaction piece, which is I'm totally fine with that, and then we got back to York. And York said something crazy, and she said, I just checked who's still interfacing with Punk Records, and there is only two left, which is Atlas and Lilith. They are the only two left from the, from the satellites, from the Vega Punks. And it's still crazy to me on how would she, would she like be able to check Punk records, even though she's not there, I don't know, it's confusing, okay? And it's crazy because the Gerosi said that we have to kill them all, we have to not let anybody escape from this island. And yes, by the way, how would you want the Straw Hats and everyone to escape from this island while we have nobody to fight the Gerosi? So, yeah, Boney can actually help them to escape, okay? This is one thing to add to add in this, okay? 
And yes, the Garosi did not want anyone to be able to escape, even the satellites of Vegapunk, except for York, because they said that she can actually give us the whole punk record stuff, okay? And Nami and the boys there with Usopp, Zoro, Jinbei, and who else? Probably Brooke. They were ready to launch into the ocean, and thanks to Edison, but Nami said that we may need you guys to help us land safely and this is gonna be crazy, okay? But I feel like they will be able to land safely but now the question is what the bird Itsumari is gonna do, okay? So now as we've seen at the end of this chapter uh, the giants were still trying to like help the Straw Hats and the other guys was trying to, to protect them from Itsumari's attacks and as we've seen at the end of the chapter where the whole Luffy and bony stuff happened where she turned into Nika and this was it and then at the end of the chapter while the iron robber was drowning he said there you are and this was it this was the end of the chapter and we don't have a break next week we actually have a chapter which is 1119 thankfully but after that we're gonna have a break but I'm like I said I'm totally fine with that so what do you think of the chapter I think I'm gonna give it like I don't know eight and a half could be fine. I really enjoyed reading the chapter. I guess write down your thoughts and comment down below. And like I said, please respect everyone's opinions. Okay, as long as you, as they be respectful and you be respectful, we're gonna be fine. Okay, we're just enjoying One Piece. I enjoy reading and watching One Piece. So, so I hope you guys feel the same. I guess that's it, guys. Mwah.